హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ టూ ఇన్పుట్ మల్టీప్లెక్సర్ యూజింగ్ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ గేట్ so what is a multiplexer a multiplexer which is also known as mux is a digital circuit that selects one input from available multiple inputs and it will forward the selected input to single output line so you need to remember the multiplexer which is also known as mux is a digital circuit that selects one input from available multiple inputs and it will forward it to a single output line in this lecture we will focus on two input multiplexer which means it is having two data inputs and two select lines to select these inputs and it will be having one output line so two input multiplexer consist of two input lines to choose the input data and it will be having two select lines to choose between these two input data and it will be having one output line this is the connection diagram of our two input multiplexer you can see two inputs a and b and a single output the switches are labeled by c which are controlled by select signal s and s bar so here s and s bar are complement to each other which means if s is equal to 0 s bar will be equal to 1 if s is equal to 1 s bar will be equal to 0 and here these switches are implemented using complementary switches with n and p mos transistors since it is implemented using nmos and pmos transistors we call this as a transmission gates now let us understand how this two input multiplexer works let us take a look at true table of two input multiplexer as shown in this figure this true table shows the relationship between the select lines s and s bar and the input a and b and also output here if s is equal to 0 and s bar is equal to 1 if s is equal to 0 and s bar is equal to 1 this switch will be open and this switch will be closed so output will be equal to b regardless of a value that's why in this truth table as you can observe we have marked a as don't care because this switch will be open and if b is equal to 0 output will be equal to 0 and if b is equal to 1 output will be equal to 1 because this switch is closed and output will be equal to b for this case the output will be equal to b now when s is equal to 1 and s bar is equal to 0 so if s is equal to 1 and s bar is equal to 0 at that case this switch will be closed and this switch will be open that's why the output will be equal to a regardless of what value b is having so for the second case b is specified as don't care and if a is equal to 0 output will be equal to 0 and if a is equal to 1 output will be equal to 1 so we can say output will be equal to a so from this truth table you can easily understand depending upon the select line we are choosing the input from the available multiple inputs and that selected input will be available at the output so which is the function of multiplexer so here in this example specifically we are taking two input multiplexer as an example now these are the symbols of transmission gate so this shows the individual complementary switch which is used here in two input NAND gate so this complementary switch are also known as the transmission gate or pass gate so these are also known as transmission gate or pass gate and these complementary switches 
are made up of both n mass and p mass so here the select line with a bubble represents a p mass structure and select line without any bubble represents a p mass structure so here you need to remember p mass will be on when the input is equal to 0 and n mass will be on if the input is equal to 1 so this is very important if you remember this you can easily understand the multiplexer operation so the combination of p mass and n mass is known as a transmission gate and it allows both logic 0 as well as logic 1 to pass through without losing the signal strength so this is one more way of representing the transmission gate of uh, multiplexer so here again the select line with a bubble represents a p mass and select line without any bubble represents the n mass and these two are the inputs based on these select line the inputs will be selected so this is the basic structure and the second diagram uses a transmission symbol that are used in the multiplexers so here depending upon the select lines we might select input a or b if s is equal to 0 at that case s bar will be equal to 1 so p mass will select b as an output if s is equal to 1 s bar is equal to 0 so n mass will select a as an output so this is how the two input multiplexers are designed using transmission gate so this is using transmission gate so this is one more way of representing the transmission gate so here as you can observe in transmission 1 the p side is connected to s bar and n side is connected to s and across transmission gate 2 p side is connected to s and n side is connected to s bar so this is the same case in second diagram also here let us understand how these two input multiplexer works now let us take an example to understand this both the circuits will work in the same way now if s is equal to 0 at that case s bar will be equal to 1 in both the transistors in first transmission gate s bar is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0 which means both the p mass and n mass will be off so this transmission gate will be off in second transmission line s is equal to 0 s bar is equal to 1 that's why both p mass and n mass will be on so transmission line 2 will be on so irrespective of what input we are having at a if b is having 0 output will be 0 and if b is having the value as 1 output will be equal to 1 let us consider the second case where s is equal to 1 and s bar is equal to 0 in both the transmission gates so due to this in transmission gate 1 p mass will be on and n mass will also be on and transmission gate 2 p mass will be off and n mass will also be off hence transmission gate 1 will be on and transmission gate 2 will be off so irrespective of what input we are having at b it might be 0 or 1 if a is equal to 0 output will be equal to 0 and if a is equal to 1 output will be equal to 1 the similar operation is shown in this truth table so depending upon s and s bar value it is choosing the output as a or b so if s is equal to 0 s bar is equal to 1 b is selected as output irrespective of a which is don't care and if s is equal to 1 and s bar is equal to 0 a is chosen as output irrespective of what value b is having which is don't care condition so here you need to remember these multiplexers are backbone of many digital electronic circuits they are useful in communication devices and they are also useful in processors this is about two input multiplexer using transmission gate 
we have covered the basics truth table and how the circuit operates step by step hope you have understood the topic thank you